Hey yo, what's up? It's Pooh Cluster here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the first update to the game. So, it's not much to talk about, so this video should be rather short. Uh, so, the first thing you'll notice is the menu, and this is the biggest part of the update. So, I implemented mouse, mouse detection, and when you hover over it, whoa, it outlines the text. Uh, when I first got this to work, I thought it was really amazing, so that's pretty cool. Most of these do work, or some of these do work to some extent. For instance, uh, exit, when you exit, it exits. Next is settings. So the only thing that works in settings so far is uh, music, because that's the only thing I have in this game so far. Sound effects I'll get to eventually, brightness I'll get to eventually, and then controls. I'll get to eventually. So controls is really interesting. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to implement like key bindings, and uh, the user would be able to change their controls to their liking. But I'm not actually sure if I want the user to be able to do that. I don't know why. Um, we'll see. Next is gallery. So my thoughts for the gallery would be like. As you progress through the game, you'd be able to obtain different pictures and you can view all the pictures in your gallery. And this would show all the different, um, this would show your progression through the game and all the different places you've been to and, su and such. I thought that'd be pretty cool to add. Next is multiplayer. So in multiplayer, there's local and online. These don't actually work yet, obviously. Uh, I'll implement them in the future. So local is like where there are two players on one computer. And online would be where there are two. Uh, online would be where there are two players on two different computers. That the online will take a lot of googling because that's not something we learn in class. So next is single player. Obviously, single player will work because I'm. This is this game is single player to start with. So new game works. Uh, load game also works. This is load um, a level that is previously loaded, and then when I save the game, I can obviously uh, save the game. So that's all there is for the menu. Next, I'll be talking about minor details. So this this dirt right here, I retextured it so it's a little bit darker, and I realized that um, uh, when the dirt was a little bit bright, it became really distraction. Yeah. It became really distracting to read the text, and I mean that's a bad thing because if you can't read the text, how can you play the game and understand all the different whatevers in the game? So yeah, um, yeah, I made the dirt darker. I think it looks better darker too, to be honest. Next is animation glitch. There was an animation glitch in the previous version. If you hold left and right at the same time, the the code didn't actually know what to do, so it stayed in place and animated right um, the right animation and that's not good because that's not what you're supposed to see on screen also when I held control while holding left and right it would moonwalk and you're not supposed to see that either <laughs> so those are that's um I mean even though that that's kind of cool it's not like something that I would want in my game if I want it to be like as pristine as possible and then lastly I implemented uh, uncapped FPS I think I could implement this as a feature in settings maybe I could put like FPS uh, cap or an uncapped something like that but for now it's gonna be uncapped and this helps me a lot because if it's uncapped and I implement some sort of feature into the game I can see if it affects the FPS by some degree and it will tell me if I'm coding efficiently or not efficiently so those are all the things oh there's one more thing so for the menu for some reason I have to do a little bit more tweaking with this because this this I made the UI myself um, so when it's like this I don't know why you would ever want it like this but if it, when it's like this the mouse detection is not really accurate at all like you can see this look that's that's not accurate um my mouse is even 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 on exit 
but it detects exit so yeah those are all the things so I'll be I'll show you in the previous version right now um, the animation glitch the texture and the FPS so, uh, so here you can see that the FPS is at 60 and for me this wouldn't actually help me because then I'd be like oh it didn't affect the FPS at all but it actually did it's just that um, I'm limiting the computer from its full capabilities of uh, rendering in this game so next uh, you can see that the dirt is pretty bright so if I were to hold text to it it you can see that it's pretty difficult to read the actual text because of how bright the dirt is plus I think the dirt looks better darker uh, lastly the animation glitch so if I hold left and right at the same time it would animate right even though I'm not moving right and you can imagine that's weird but then if I were to hold control he would moonwalk I mean I guess that's cool but I mean it's not and he fires backwards so yeah that's something I decided to fix and that's all I have to show you guys so thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video uh, stay tuned for more and peace out guys